Hello, 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 Mystic Umbreon Andy4 here, and today, welcome to my new series of my Pokemon Soul Silver Corsola solo run. I'm about to attempt something that no other Poketuber has done before. I'm almost positive. I looked around YouTube, and I have found no videos with anyone using a Corsola and doing a solo run. So. You know what, guys? Um, I asked you guys in the uh, comments, and I even asked you guys in my stream. You guys responded with a positive, optimistic attitude with a wicked yes. So now today is going to be the start of my Corsola solo run. Let's get things going here. Let's just skip through all this bullshit at the very, very beginning because no one wants to hear all this intro stuff. Yeah, noise Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. And one thing people were to tell me though, you know, it's going to be very, very challenging because, you know, Corsola isn't the most speediest Pokemon, and it does not have, you know, the, um, the best, uh, well, you know, like the best HP and stuff, it doesn't have like the best, uh, um, attacking stats, but you know what, I'm going to attempt it anyway. I'm about to, uh, I think that this is going to be a lot of fun, and we actually get to play in my favorite region, the Johto region. So I am pretty excited to start my Johto adventure with just our partner, Corsola. <clears throat> so let's just skip through all this junk. And um, yes, guys, I apologize for Leaf Green not um, uploading today. Leaf Green will be up tomorrow, along with Corsola Solo Run. From now on, I will be posting Leaf Green once a day and uh, Corsola Solo Run once a day. Although so I cannot promise it because, you know, I sometimes, you know, things do come up and, you know, like not all of us are perfect. But I will try my best to post uh, Corsola once a day, and um, Leaf Green once a day. So basically, you guys are going to be getting two episodes in one day. As for my Let's Play, my Let's Play will be debuting sometime, I don't know, probably in a couple weeks from now, but my Let's Play is coming. I would like to try and get done with Leaf Green first. I didn't really, like, really want to do this series at first, but you guys really, really responded happily, so I'm going to give this series a go and see how it actually works out. So let's head inside the Pokemon Center. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Before we head inside the Pokemon Lab, that's a Pokemon Center. I'm sorry, guys. The Pokemon Lab. Elm Pokemon Lab. Elm Pokemon Lab. See, right here, even says in the mailbox. I don't understand how there's actually text on that mailbox, but somehow there is. This guy right here. So this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at? And this guy has the nerve to push us like three feet back. He must be a super strong guy or something. I don't know, but. In we go to Professor Elm's lab. Let's just fast forward through all this once again. Research, blah, 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 Pokeballs. Yeah, we're not starting out with Chikorita, um, Toadel, or, or uh, Cyndaquil. Actually, what I did to do this guy, since I have a Macintosh, and since I do not have a, um, you know, uh, PC, I actually had to, I'm trying to explain this without having, you know, without sending nerdy and without turning the sound, you know, all complicated and stuff. Basically, what I did was, was I uh, used uh, the uni the universal randomizer for the Mac, you know, like how I randomized my Ruby randomizer and how I randomized Leaf Green. You can actually do the same exact thing with uh, DS games. And um, I kept all the settings the same, so all the trainers have their original Pokemon, all the original Pokemon, like, spawn in their spots. The only difference is, is I changed up the starter Pokemon so that we can start out with, um, uh, Corsola. And Corsola actually does not have the best IVs, but you know what, and the best nature, but that's okay. They're all water types, except the only difference is, is it's a green text. And that one sounds like a Toadwell. That one sounds like a Chikorita. And that one sounds like a Cyndaquil. I think we're going to pick the one that sounds like the Cyndaquil, because Cyndaquil is my favorite Johto Pokemon. But instead of Corsola comes out. I didn't see that one coming, did you guys? That's why it's labeled Corsola Solo Run. And what would I like to give a nickname to it? Yes, I would. Oh, it's, it's so cute. It's a girl, too. Um, we're going to name her Bubble Yum. Because it looks, cause she looks just like Bubble Gum. And Bubble Yum is some of my favorite type of gum chewing as a kid. So we will definitely name you Bubble Yum. And Professor Elm is an annoying person. I actually, out of all the Pokemon professors, I prefer Professor Oak the most, but eh, it's whatever. Mr. Pokemon goes away and finds rarities. His house past Sheriff City. Blah, 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 blah. 
All right, thank you, Professor. Oh no, what do you want now? I'm just gonna fast forward this as much as I possibly can. Thank you. Pokemon Week in the beginning, now so you do your Pokemon's nature. Thank you very much. Alrighty. Now, what do you want? Why is there so many tutorials in freaking Pokemon Soul Silver and Heart Gold? I picked a Corsola. Yes, I picked a Corsola because we're doing a Corsola solo run. I forgot, Lyra has no idea what we're doing, so. Bye, Meryl. I hate Meryls. I only like Meryl until uh, Generation 6 because that way he gets like all the fairy type attributes and stuff. Play Rough, Aqua Jet, all the other good stuff. Belly Drum. Oh, Missy, that's a cute Pokemon you have. Press almost to give it to you. Yes, Mom. You, at least you are better than the Mom in Ruby and Sapphire who throws their freaking kid in a freaking moving van for crying out loud. See, at least this Mom has, you know, at least she gives us a Poke Gear. At least, at least, you know, like you're able to call her, you know, like keep in touch. Like, at least she's a caring mother. Except, I just don't know where the dad is in the Johto region. Actually, all games besides the Hoenn region. They don't have dads in them. So, I don't know where the dad is in this game or any of the other games, but it's Hoenn. I don't really know, like, how, like, the dads work. Like, what, what, like, what do they do? Did they just, like, you know, hook up and then just, like, leave, you know, like, leave the kid? Leave the wife? Is that how it works? I don't understand. Power of the Poke Gear, touch the telephone. Yeah, we know how to do all that stuff already, because we're professionals. Okay, Mr. Pokemon's house. Yeah, his name is Mr. Pokemon, after the game! Very, very catchy, Nintendo. Good job, good job. Alright, so what does this lady have to say? Every Pokemon's adorable, I should have had one. Yeah, you wish you had a beautiful, pink, spiky Corsola. Professor Elm, what do you want now? WAIT ONE SECOND! Alright, I almost completely forgot about this. I'll give you my number. Thank you, Professor, or, uh, Prof Elm. Alright, so now from here on out, I'm only going to use... The if it's kind of laggy, is it kind of laggy? That uh, should be okay. I'm only going to use the fast forward button when we go through, um, you know, wild encounters, or uh, when we get through trainer battles. I actually think the speed button's actually making it kind of glitchy. So, I mean, we could avoid the speed button, but then again, like the game would take like twice as long. Alright, so we got a Pidgey. Bulbium's just gonna tackle this shit. Tackle that shit, Bubble Yum. You got this, you got this, you got this. Alright. We got 23 experience. Good job, Bubble Yum. So we kind of just, like, leave it. Alright, cool. What, what do you have to say, Chubbs? I want to take a break, so I save my progress. Yes, you can save your progress in Pokemon games. That way, you do not have to, you know, stay in one spot the whole time. Blah, 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 blah. You can turn off your game, and you can automatically go back to the spot where you saved at. Actually, it feel, the game feels kind of laggy, to be honest. Maybe it's because of the speed button, but then again, like... Uh, I guess it's not that bad, to be honest. Battle scenes actually seem okay. So, we're just gonna grind up for a little bit, I guess. Pidgey. Uh, we will use... Tackle again. I just want to get at least a little bit of experience up before we start going. I wonder what our rival is going to pick. Yeah, we'll get up to level 6. I wonder what our rival will pick as his Pokemon. It's actually kind of... I wonder if he'd actually pick a Corsola, because we picked a Corsola. That actually be kind of funny, like, like, our rival has a Corsola and we have a Corsola. Oh my god, that'd be fucking hilarious. Okay. So Corsola's level 6. Corsola is already going to be overpowered as is, because he's going to be our only Pokemon. But what I find challenging about- oh my god, why do you have to do these stupid tutorials game? Nintendo, I don't really care about the stupid tutorials. Interrupt me. I'm fairly sorry, we weren't wearing running shoes. Yeah, I'm not wearing running shoes, jackass. Pokemon Center, yeah, we know exactly what that is. You're running on them a lot, yeah, blah 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 blah, Pokemon Mart. You guys can buy Pokeballs and potions out here, we know exactly what that is. Root three is up this way, turn a little bit better in the turn, blah 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 blah. And there is the ocean. No shit, Einstein. I could have figured that out. Um, which is your house? Here's my house. Here for I'll give you my running shoes. Blah blah blah. blah. I got you didn't I? These are brand new. Okay, thank you, thank you. Technically, they're not brand new because your old ass wore them. But okay, I forgot to do due to my old voice. But the, the the tutorial mode is just so irritating and annoying. Oh my god. 
please stop. Go away. Run back to your house. No one cares. Goodbye now. Yep, yep, thank you. Stay away from me. Alright, so... I don't mind the wild Pokemon appearing. That's no big deal. Tackle. String shot. Eh, I think we might just um, run from these battles. So I'm going to try and get the tutorial done. Oh my goodness, what in the hell is that? What in God's name happened to my game? Um, one second, guys. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Something happened with the whole... The game kind of glitched up and just went through all this weird stuff, but... Anyways, I think from now on, I'm actually going to, um, actually save. Well, you know, like, do a save state more often. And, hey, kiddo, what do you want, mister? Ah, uh, because I don't really care about apricorns. We, don't, we, we can only use one Pokemon this game. Apricorn. Apricorn trees bear fruit once a day. I have one of these trees, too. Oh, you know what, dude? No one really cares. Apricorn box. Cool story. Uh, if this was a let's play, I'd be more interested, but it is a solo run, so I am not interested, sir. Alright, so we are going to head up to Mount Pokemon... Mount Pokemon. <laughs> Mr. Pokemon's house now. And um, if you go here, these two guys are actually uh, battling with their... Uh, go Ratata! This is actually Youngster Joey. And this guy has uh, his Pidgey, and I guess Youngster Joey's... Ratata wins, and you know, with that win, he gets the mentality. I can beat any kind of trainer with a Ratata. How funny, Youngster Joey. Leave me alone. This is a professional battle. Well, sorry, Youngster Joey. I guess Course Law will just have to come kick your butt in a couple minutes. So, uh, let's go through all this grass. What kind of Pokemon is this? A Weedle, okay. Oh, I, I forgot. We're, we're level 5. Gosh darn it, I forgot to grind up. Because I actually, um,. I have to do this whole entire thing over again because of like the glitch. I forgot the save and stuff. So, uh, of course, I was level six. Now he's level five. Just so really, really quickly. Let me get him up. Should be able to get him up. Please don't poison me. Shoot some pretty good. Okay. So the next Pokemon. Yeah, you know what? Really, real quick. Before we go to Mr. Pokemon's house, I will very quickly grind up to level six. I wonder if a rival is actually going to be using a Corsola too. I know I said that before, but. It's just kind of interesting, like, to know whether or not the rival is going to use, like, a Chikorita, a Cyndaquil. Well, actually, since, uh, since we pick the, uh, the red one, I think he's, he might pick a Totodile. We'll see, though. It's going to be kind of complicated. Because, uh, I picked the, uh, Corsola with the red print around it. So he might actually pick the one with the blue print around it, and that is actually the, uh, Totodile one. The Totodile. So we'll see if that actually happens. Alright, so he gives you the Pokemon Egg. That is completely worthless. Examine Mystery Egg, blah, 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 blah. He gave it to me. Um, here is Professor Oak. Professor Oak is the uh, Kanto Professor, in case you guys don't know. But then again, who doesn't know about Professor Oak? Then he's just like, hey, Professor Oak. And with that, I'm Professor Oak, Pokemon Researcher. Some of your arms, Mr. Mel, Mr. Pokemon. I do, but no, Professor Oak, so I waited here. Oh, I guess it's a rare Pokemon. It's a Corsola, dude. How's it rare? Just kidding. Corsola is an awesome Pokemon. That's why I've been wanting to do this for a while, because Corsola is so underrated, you know, people... I want people to know the true potential of what a Corsola can actually do. Radio show, let's just really real quick give it a save, so no bullshit happens. In case stuff does happen, you guys are going to be seeing a mouse, the mouse a lot. I uh, like, uh, the mouse, like, won't be on the screen, but every once in a while, like, the, the mouse will pop in because I need to, uh press the button in order for the program to work again. And here comes knowing Professor Elm. I will do my voice for him. Hello, Mystic! It's a disaster! Oh, it's just terrible! What should I do? Oh no, please get back here now! Oh, Professor Elm, what the hell happened, man? He says, it, he says it's a disaster, so... I don't know. Let's go check him out. Alright, so we got a Pidgey here. Bubble Yum, go! Tackle it! Tackle it again. See, one thing about Corsola that is really, really good, the first and second gyms are going to be no problem because Bugsy has bug types and, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Falconer has flying types. 
So this will be pretty easy for the first half. Once we get to Morty and above, though, it's when it's going to start to get really challenging, I reckon. So let's head down here, down to Cherry Grove City once again. And I'm going to heal up just really, really quickly just to be safe. You should never know. I want to buy some potions, but I still think it's kind of soon to buy potions. Probably buy potions later. The cool thing is, is we only have one Pokemon to worry about, so... And that Pokemon, and this is a Solara, not a Nuzlocke, so... This thing can die as many times as it wants, and... Yeah, we don't have to worry about, you know, putting this thing in the box, in the dead box, or releasing it. Because I know everything on my channel up to this point has been Nuzlocke's, but I think it's actually kind of cool, like, to change up the variety up to a, a solo run. He says, you got a Pokemon back at the lab. Pokemon to... What Pokemon did he get? I wonder what he got. I wonder if he actually got a Corsola, because if he got a Corsola, this is going to take forever. Alright, what did you get? Passerby, boy. Oh, so he actually got a Cyndaquil. Okay. That actually gives us the advantage. No shit. Okay, so, um... We'll use Tackle on him. This Cyndaquil cannot do jack to us. I didn't even, like, make it so that he picked the Cyndaquil. I kind of just, um... I kind of just picked... I thought that by me picking the red-printed Corsola would mean that he picked the, uh, the Totodile, because the starters, I guess, for the rival weren't randomized. Or, uh, more, uh, weren't Corsola. Corsolas. So th this, that's actually kind of complicated, but I guess the rival picks Cyndaquil, so that means that we get the advantage. Which is amazing. I'm totally cool with getting the advantage. And yeah, we got 69 experience. Bulbayum is now level 7. Player defeated Passerby Boy. Hmm, are you happy you won? Yes, as a matter of fact, I am. To know who I am, I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. Yeah, we know who you are, pal. Corsola is going to whoop your butt each time we battle, too. This guy says, give it back, it's my trainer card. I know you saw my name. The, weird, the funny thing is, is like, it doesn't actually give you a name. And if you, um... His name in the original Pokemon Gold and Silver and Crystal games was question mark, question mark, question mark. And I remember as a kid growing up, that's always what name I'd always used to give him, because that's the name like, I would always used to see. But this time we actually are going to name him. Uh, we're actually going to name him after another Poketuber that I... Well, actually a Poketuber that I sometimes do videos with, and sometimes I talk to a lot. It's not Purple Rayquaza, because Purple Rayquaza already had a chance... He already got named after... Uh in uh, Leaf Green Randomizer. So this time we're going to name the rival after somebody else. Must be the one who did it. No, I didn't do it. Why would I? My Corsola's right here. There are three Corsola's in there. Wait, 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 wait. Dang it. Never mind. I, I don't know how to explain this. The freaking rival. He had a Cyndaquil when all the when all the starters were uh, Corsola's. So wouldn't that mean that he would have picked the Corsola? I don't even know. Okay, whatever. Uh, eh, the one who did it. But then again, I also did say... um starters weren't going to be randomized. So we are actually going to name him Murkrow because Mr. Murkrow has not once had a chance to be my rival name and I told him that he would be able to be the name of my rival in the next series I do. So Murkrow is going to be our rival. Thanks for helping my investigation. My next assignment is to search for the red-haired individual. Merc is uh, not a red hair. He is actually, I think, Merc, I think you're blonde haired. I think you are. So you are not red headed. I didn't. I don't know. You're just gonna be my rival name. And this stupid Professor Elm, the dumb mystery egg and stuff. No one really cares, dude. Gave it to me. Blah, 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 blah. What Professor, Oak, what Professor Oak gave you a Pokedex? Is that true? Yeah, we're actually not going to be using the Pokedex. We're actually going to be using, you know, HM Slaves and stuff, but it's not like they're actually going to count towards it. We need HM Slaves to get through the game, obviously. And this is a post-commentary, because there was a little lag. Now we're done. Catch a couple HM Slaves throughout the game. Corsola can definitely use Surf, because Corsola has some pretty good special attack. It's not the best, but you know what? I think it's actually better than its uh, physical attack. Not to mention, I forgot to check the nature on this thing as well. He, she is a bull nature. So this thing actually powers up, I think, defense and lower special attacker attack. One or the other, I can't remember. Okay, you're so stupid, Lyra. I hate you. There you are. I don't even need to, I don't need to know how to catch a Pokemon. We've already completed our Emerald Nuzlocke, and we're already currently in Leaf Green Randomizer. Technically, we don't need help at all. And I'm definitely a lot more professional at catching Pokemon than you are because 
each route in my Nuzlocks, I only have one chance to catch that Pokemon. If that Pokemon gets away, it's gone forever. You get as many chances as you want, Lyra. That's what makes me a professional and you garbage at catching Pokemon. So you can just sit here, fast forward through all this dumb junk. Okay, for one, she's an idiot. You need to weaken a Pokemon down to at least yellow or red before you can throw the Pokeball at it. But then again, it is a Rattata, so it doesn't really matter too much. Oh, so if we should catch the Rattata, I'm about to yawn and go to sleep because this tutorial crap is just so boring. Our target's HP than I did. Yes, that is what I just said. Thank you, Lyra. You dumb... Yeah, what's this not getting in there? See you. Okay, cool. So now we can finally get on with this challenge, guys. It, we can train up for a while. Actually, you know what? I'm done training up for a while. We are plenty... Plenty strong to go on to the next route. Although I do feel like really fast forwarding through all these dumb battles. How much time we have on the clock, anyways? We have 10 minutes and 19 seconds. Okay, that's no problem. We can go for probably like another 10. Just let me save the game really, really quick. Save how steady. Cool stuff. Alright, so let's head on through the route. And if another Pokemon interrupts me talking one more time, I'm going to rage and scream and getting angry. Alright. Really, Pokemon? Why do you have to appear every freaking step I walk? Fly Centret. Alright, so now we can head down to uh, Route 30. Come on. I really, really like this song. It's uh, I honestly like the uh, original gold and silver ones better because I don't know. I just more nostalgia. Although I, I do gotta say I do love the remakes. I remember like when I, I was actually a freshman in high school when Soul Silver and Heart Gold actually came out, and I remember I um I heard about the announcement in a class because I at the time I was in a digital film class, and uh, the funny thing is is that we actually use Macintoshes. So I, already, so I already knew a little bit about um, using film editing software even before I started Poketubing. But anyways, um, I was in class and, you know, I, ha I had some friends in there that liked Pokemon. And I had heard about it and I literally was about to jump out of my chair. I'm like, oh my god, they're remaking the Johto region? I am picking Chikorita. I am so picking Chikorita. Everyone's like, why are you picking Chikorita? I said, because Chikorita, it was the Pokemon I always picked when I started on uh, Gold, Silver, and Crystal. And no one really likes Chikorita because Chikorita is like, you know, the weak Pokemon. It, um, and since like the majority of the Pokemon uh, gym leaders in Johto were like kind of super effective to grass types like Falconer, uh, Bugsy, Jasmine really isn't super effective, but you know what, like most of the gym leaders in this region have like resistances to grass types. So Chikorita is like always known as like, you know, the bad, the bad stick of the bunch. But you know what? I really will like Chikorita. Chikorita is a really cool Pokemon to have. Okay, so now we can battle Youngster Joey. He has a Rattata. This is Riss Rattata is in the top 10 percentage of Rattata. So we, we better watch out for this guy, guys. Rattata is a Pokemon that you do not want to mess with. And Corsola whooped his butt, kind of like I figured it would. And the best part of the whole entire game, he wants to ask us for our number. Yes, Youngster Joey, we will get your number, sir. You are... You, I am your biggest fan, except even though I just whooped your butt with my Corsola. But that's okay. Youngster Joey is still an awesome Pokemon trainer, and we will battle your top percentage of top 10 percentage of Raticates as soon as that time comes for grinding. Maybe later on in the game, you'll be our grinding slave. All right, so Youngster Mikey, Youngster Mikey has a Pidgey and uh, I think a Rattata. So wait a minute, Youngster. So when you and Youngster Joey were battling, he battled you. With just his Rattata, and you get you got to use two Pokemon on him, dude. You are, you are weak, man. Youngster Joey's Rattata must have whooped your Rattata and Pidgey's butt. Do not mess with Youngster Joey unless you're Bubble Blue. I mean, uh, Bubble Yum. I actually had a, uh, I did a course of a solo run before. I wanted to test it out. I did it in my. Uh, I did it in my own Soul Silver game, and I. But instead of you know a regular course, I actually made it into a shiny one. And so I nicknamed her uh, Bubble Blue. And I remember like, I gave her like perfect IVs and stuff to uh, make the game easier. And I made him, I think I made her a Tim miniature. But this time there are no IVs. And uh, the natures are completely randomized. Even though Bolt Nature is actually not too bad. Do we have any potions? I think we do. Alright, so we will give Corsola a real quick potion. So now she's up back up to health. 
And while we're on a little bit of a break, I will do a save state real quick, so that way, just in case the game glitches again, we do not have to worry about the little, you know, blurry screen popping up. And here comes the bug catcher. Instead of bug Pokemon, I found a trainer. You mean a Corsola trainer? Caterpie, go Bubble Yum. Use Tackle. String Shot. Oh, that really did hurt. Tackle on this thing again. Look at Bubble Yum just putting in this work. I'm so used to calling him... So used to call it Bubble Blue because of my own silver, my own silver, silver, um, silver, of course, silver. But I need to start getting into teaching him, uh, calling her Bubble Yum, Bubble Yum, Bubble Yum, Bubble Yum. Okay, cool. Now we actually have Bubble. So right now we get that same type of attack bonus. So we'll use Bubble on you. Bubble on you once more. Oh, and I just realized something. Sprout Tower. Sprout Tower is going to be a problem because the. Uh, all the trainers are going to have Bell Sprouts, and Corsola is quad weak to um, Grass types, so that isn't going to be a really good matchup for us. Should have told me. What about your money? Should I save it? Uh, you know what? Yeah, save the money because saving the money actually does come in handy for later on in the game, like when you want to buy stuff for the Elite Four and shit. So I actually am going to save the money. Now we're at Route 31. What is in here? A Pidgey. Oh, by the way, guys, I really do hope you guys uh, like the layout. I actually made this layout by myself this time. Articuno Speed Art has just been busy with a lot of stuff. If you guys um, like my layout, you know, like, l let me know in the comments, because I, I actually, I only put in about, like, like, an hour or two hours into it. It didn't take me that long to do. Because uh, I, and uh, for my layouts, because some of you guys asked me like, how I make my layouts, I make my layouts using uh, PowerPoint. But uh, Leaf Green Randomizer was actually made by Articuno Speed Art, and he uses uh, Photoshop for it. Because you know, he has a PC and stuff, but me using, uh, me having a Mac, I prefer to use PowerPoint. Because I mean, because PowerPoint like has like all the necessary stuff that you need. It has all the tools. I mean, like you can make uh, shapes and stuff, like to make sure like, you can fit the screen. You can make like little speech bubbles, as you can see, like like the little corsel on like the top right corner. She's like, like the video, please, which I think is really really adorable. I had to make one of those. Uh so she he has a Caterpie. Excuse me. We will give this thing a tackle, I think. And guys, we have another technical difficulty problem where I have to re-record over again because of the stupid mic static stuff. Bubble's actually a special attack, so we can actually go for Bubble. And he goes for a string shot. Kill the wannabe hardy tech. That's really, really annoying because Corsola is already slow, as is anyway. Bugcatcher Wade sent out another Caterpie. And we level up to level 9. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Awesome sauce. Awesome stuff. You're awesome. I like you. One man, tall grass, like sure. Would you care your phone number? Yes, yeah, sure. Because sometimes these guys can actually give you some pretty cool stuff. I think like sometimes like they give, give you like hyper potions and junk. Like they'll find stuff in the ground and like they'll call you up and like they'll be like, Hey, you know, come on by, you know, pick up this item. I caught it for you. Or, you know, I got it for you because... Some of these trainers in here are actually very, very generous. In fact, um, there's actually a couple of trainers in here that actually give you the evolution stones. Like one girl gives you the thunderstone, another girl gives you the um, leaf stone. I think a guy gives you the fire stone. I, I don't know which guy gives the fire stone because I've only ever gotten the leaf stone and the thunderstone. Do you pass me? Here's something neat for surprising me, Mystic. VS recorder. Okay, I'm cool with that. I don't really even use the VS recorder. I thought that we actually got the VS Seeker from in there. I was like, okay, well, that's good grinding, but never mind. Let's go, Meryl. Alright, so she goes to the little exit. And we are now officially in Violet City. I like this city. A lot of memories growing up to this. I remember Falconer, since I always used to pick Chikorita as my starter, Falconer would always be a pain in the butt because he would always used to use Gust and stuff. And I didn't know about, actually, I think the uh, the patch of grass below Violet with the Marip in it, I think that was introduced in the uh, the Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver games. I don't think it was there in the original Crystal. But anyways, guys, I think we are going to end off the episode here. I think we're about 28 minutes altogether from the, uh, I think we have 10 minutes from the first clip, and we have 18 minutes in this clip. So I think now is a good time to end off the episode. Um, I really, really hope you guys like the layout, and I really, really hope you guys like the series. Question of the day, um, would you like to see any more solo runs in the, uh, future? If so, name some in the comments. I would really, really like to see your guys' uh, you know, opinions on this. 
Not, not, I mean, pardon me, not on my Corsola Solar Run, because you guys like it already. I think you do, anyways. But, uh, yeah, if you guys have, like, any other ideas, you know, for more Solar Runs in the future, let me know some Pokemon that you guys would, would, uh, like me to use, you know, uh, have, like, a general idea of, like, what you want me to use. And with that, guys, we're gonna end off the episode now officially. I will shut up. I'm Mr. Gumbra94, and I will see you guys later.